Familias, for sale items gone wild. Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's your friend Steven coming to you from Wooksburg, PA. Wooksburg, PA. All right, guys, as you can see on your screen, this is one of my box trucks. And, um, I've had it for quite a while now, going on eight years, I think, of maybe, maybe even a little more than eight years. But she's been very good to me. Um, it's a Ford F-350. She used to be a U-Haul truck when I got my hands on her. And um, she's been very good to me. Um, unfortunately, with the pandemic kicking in, it, um, pandemic, and I'm not looking for sympathy. Pandemic has kind of thrown my business upside down. And um, unfortunately, I'm downsizing. Um, I'm no longer, I'm going to, I can't say no longer. I'm going to try to remove myself from clearing out homes and moving people gonna jump into something different and um i was hoping for a change now i'm not gonna lie i've had a handful of people come at me and offer me money for her and i would just um brush them off or whatever and you know i was hoping that things would get better um but who knew who knew the pandemic was gonna go a whole year and even more um, I honestly thought in the beginning it was going to be a couple of months, but um, a whole year. So like I said, I'm going to get out of the clearing out homes and moving people. And um, I'm going to sell her off and my other one. And um, anyway, for you guys that are interested, if you feel like you, um, you got a business that um, the box truck could um, come out handy for you. Um, she is a 96 Ford F-350. She has a 14-foot box on her. Um, she is in good shape. I just put a rebuilt motor in her. Um, the motor has a year warranty on it. I don't know. I don't know if I could transfer the warranty, but um, I have a year warranty on her. Um, I also have the old motor. I have the old motor that was in there before. And the reason I um, put a rebuilt in her, the individual that I had driving, um, apparently he wasn't checking the oil like he should be. And um, he blew something inside the motor. And you know, from what I hear, I should have just replaced that, that part instead of buying a whole new motor but i don't know i said screw it though what the original motor had 200 i think 200 190 thousand i think it was or 200 it might be i'm not i'm not all that um i'm not all that good with what the mileage was the rebuilt motor she is she runs like a baby um and like i said a year warranty on her i think it was a hundred thousand miles or a year whichever one comes first or whatever um mind you um she's been very well cared for um i did have a mechanic that worked for me and sundays we were we were i mean there were days there were sundays we would operate but technically sundays was a day off for everybody so I did have the mechanic that would go through all my vehicles, changing the oil, um, whatever whatever maintenance needed to be done, it was done. Um, unfortunately, I don't got the keys on me. I was gonna pop the hood and show the motor. Um, it sits three people. Um, like I said, unfortunately, I didn't bring the motor. I mean, I didn't bring the motor, oh my God. I didn't bring the keys. Um, I don't know if the hood is open. I did take the distra. I had the mechanic. Um, I got another mechanic. I got rid of the mechanic that was with me, um, uh, for personal reasons. But, um, I got a mechanic here, Chris. He, um, we took out the distributor to put a new distributor in there to make it. When you get the, how should I say, it? those who, who, whoever bought a motor before, basically you only get the block and a new head new block new head 
all the accessories and all that have to come off the old motor um so that's what we did we took everything off the old motor put it on like i said the the truck runs like a baby but it was like um it was kind of rough you know like it, it it was eating gas and um so anyway we took the distributor out to change it put a new one in new cap and rotor new wires um yes yeah, she is a truck I think um, mileage, they're getting like 10 miles or 12 miles to the gallon. Uh, when U-Haul made these trucks, it wasn't for her to be easy with fuel. They made these trucks to haul weight. I think on the registration, I think it's illegal for, I think 10,000 pounds or something like that, or something. I think it's 10,000 or whatever. It, it, it's all on you the registration would depending on what you pay for um, But like I said you haul you haul made these vehicles back in the days when gas was only like a buck or two a, a gallon and um, They made it to you know the pull weight So when we first got her like I said uh, the guys were telling me oh she runs like a race car blah 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 And that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for the truck to run you know with speed and all that my my intentions are i want the truck to pull weight you know um we move people we um we clear our homes so you know when the box is loaded you know i'm looking for fuel consumption i mean i'm looking for fuel economy let's say and um so like i said i pulled out the distributor blase blase um for those that are interested in the box truck um, feel free to give me a call or a text at 570-894-3500 and um, we'll go from there. Um, I also got another, let's see, I don't know, I, I, I kind of liked what I was doing, moving people, the guys were making good money, I'm making okay money, but like I said, the pandemic came and everything kind of slowed down, so... I also got a 2007 F450. I love Fords now, okay? You guys could tell. She is a bus. I bought her from the local bus company in Kingston. Um, I bought two of them. One I sold just, I don't know, a few months ago. Um, she's got a TV. She's got a, what is it, 32-inch, I think it is. It's got a 32-inch TV in there, nice stereo in there. Um, I personally was doing, um, I was taking, doing tours out in Philadelphia. They call them wine, wine tours. <laughs> you get, um, I was basically getting, uh, the nurses out of Geisinger and we would take them out to Philly and I guess, I don't know, you want to call it wine, wine place jumping or whatever. We'd go to, it was like five places in a 10 hour day. And I was doing good. The money was good just to take people around to wineries. And it was good. I liked it. Um, I was going to keep her and make her into like a, um, I don't know what the hell you would call it. Like, um, you know, like personal wear, like an RV in a sense. Um, it has 14 seats in her. Again, I didn't bring the damn keys. <laughs> I didn't bring the keys in there. But she is nice. She is a... I, I tell you, I hate to sell her. You know, I um, I hate to sell. I I don't know. I, I when you get a good vehicle, you just don't want to get rid of them like that. You know, but um, she is a good bus. You know, she um, it's a ten cylinder. That's one thing with the motor. Ooh, I think the furthest I went, Philadelphia was not um, that was like you'd get to Philly and then it was all local, so it wasn't like um. To fill her up was like 150 bucks or whatever. Um, I don't know what the price is now. 175, maybe 200. But it's a 10 cylinder. She moves. Nice smooth ride. And um, but anyway, I don't want to. 2007 F450 runs like a baby. If you're interested in this, feel free to give me a call. Text 570-894-3500. And then the last vehicle I'm going to sell off is this is a 93, uh, 93 GMC. 
she runs like a, I, I hate to give this was my very first truck when I first got into the business of moving people and clearing out homes she's been to Florida three times um, she, oh the, my god the motor it's a what is it a three it's the biggest Chevy biggest Chevy you can get and um, it just oh my god I um, like I said, I really don't want to give her up. I put her, I put her in the lot here, and um, I use her because this is the only box truck that I let her the lettered up. Um, when I started lettering up the trucks, that's when um, the state started getting into my business. Um, started noticing my trucks running around, so I stopped. You know, I'd get the, I'd get the trucks, and I say, screw it, leave them, leave the box blank white. Um, but this was my very first truck. She runs good. She has a 14-foot box on her. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to get rid of this one here. Um, like I said, 93 GMC. I think it's got a hundred and I think it's 190,000 miles on the motor. Well kept. Very well. I maintain all my vehicles. Um, I don't understand anybody who makes money using their vehicles. I can't understand them how they would neglect them. Um, that not me, you know. You depend on, you depend on something to. She was bringing in the money. You make sure if it needed something, you you right on top of it. Um, so she's a well kept vehicle, 14 foot box again, and um, sits three. She's a good truck. So if you're interested. 570-894-3500 and guys like I said um, I don't need anybody giving me low ball offers I was honest enough to tell you that yes the pandemic has hurt me or whatsoever um, but pride kicks in I'm not gonna give something you know I've had people oh, I'll give you a thousand bucks or you could take your thousand bucks and go find somebody else that'll give up a uh, you know, I've been I've been browsing what what box trucks sell for, and you got people with crap, crap that looks like um, forget about it, and they want like four, five, six, seven, eight grand or whatever. So again, guys, low ball office, keep them to yourself, and um, that's about it, guys. So if you're interested in either a '96 um f-350 box truck or a 93 gmc box truck or a 2007 f-450 bus then give me a call okay you got my number on your screen there 570-894-3500 all right guys talk to you in my next video